Hello everyone. Welcome back to EHS World. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel for upcoming new video on safety management system. HERA stand for Hazard Identification and Risk Assessment. Their definition of HERA. HERA, it is process to assess the risk of every doing activities. HERA is a technique that focuses on job tasks as a way to identify hazards before they occur. Its focus on the relationship between worker task tools and work related job environment. After identifying hazards, we will take steps to eliminate or reduce them to an acceptable risk level. Definition of hazards Hazard A hazard means a situation or thing that has the potential to cause harm and damage to property. Hazards are the main cause of occupational health and safety problems. Therefore, finding ways of eliminating hazards or controlling the risks is the best way to reduce workplace injury and illness. Hazards in our activities may include noisy machinery, a moving machine, chemicals, electricity, working at heights, or a repetitive job at workplace. The next will focus definition of risk. A risk is the possibility that harm, death, injury or illness might occur when exposed to a hazard at workplace. Risk control. An action to eliminate health and safety risk so far as is reasonably practicable and if that is not possible, minimizing the risk so far as is reasonably practicable. Eliminating a hazard will also eliminate any risk associated with hazard at our workplace. Now we will cover hazard. So types of the hazards. First physical hazard, second chemical hazard, third biological hazard, fourth ergonomical hazard, fifth psychological hazards. So in each hazard we will see the definition. Physical. A physical hazard is defined as a factor within the environment that can harm the body without necessarily touching it. Vibration and noise are example of physical hazards. Chemicals A chemical hazard is a type of occupational hazard caused by exposure to chemicals at workplace. Exposure to chemicals at workplace can cause acute or long-term detrimental health effects. The third one is biological. Biological hazards may include bacteria, viruses, insects, plants, birds, animals, and humans. This source can cause a variety of health effects ranging from skin irritation and allergic to infection and cancer. Ergonomical hazard. An ergonomic hazard is a physical factor within the environment that harms the musculoskeletal system such as repetitive movement, manual handling, workplace job task design, uncomfortable workstation height, and poor body positioning. So here ergonomic, what is the repetitive movement and a repetitive task such as we take an example bar binder. The bar binder they need to twist repetitively his hand to bind the bar so that is called repetitive movement now the next one is psychological a psychological hazard is any hazard that affects the mental well-being or mental health of the worker by overwhelming individual coping mechanism and impact the workers ability to work in a healthy and safe manner the steps of risk assessment so what is the steps of risk assessment will focus first identify the hazards second identify the people at risk such as staff worker visitor and local community third one is determine the nature of harm which type of harm is associated with the activity then determine the likelihood or probability of such kind of the risk Evaluate the effectiveness of control measure and risk. Record of findings. 
and review after certain period the risk assessment should be reviewed here we will focus on definition of risk matrix a risk matrix is cultured matrix or system that is used during risk assessment to define the level of risk by considering the category of probability or likelihood against the category of consequences severity this is a simple mechanism to increase visibility of risk and assist management for decision making in the next we will focus format of the hira this is the simple format of the hira here we see first column is serial number second is the activity third is for type of the activity such as the routine or non routine next one is for the hazards which type of hazards are involved in this activity next one is consequences of the harm the next one is the risk assessment and the risk rating so in the risk assessment there is a severity of harm it is 1 to 5 then likelihood and probability is from 1 to 5 the risk rating will be risk is equal to severity into likelihood so that will come into this section next one is the risk rating so risk rating if the risk is greater than 12 that means the rating is high if the risk is greater than 8 and less than 12 that means the risk is medium if the risk is less than 8 that means the risk is low after risk rating we have to focus on control measure so this section is for control measure so what type of control measures are required to reduce or minimize the hazards or severity so in the next we will see the risk matrix this is the risk matrix risk is equal to probability into severity so what is the probability one side we can see the probability of the risk like one one means most unlikely what is the meaning of most unlikely never heard it in construction industry second one is unlikely what is the meaning of unlikely known to occur in the other construction industries so some accident happen in other construction activities so the probability of such kind of accident is to and third is likely likely stand for accident occurred in our company some fatal accident happened in its companies so the probability of that kind of the accident is 3 now the fourth one is most likely most likely means happen several time per year in our company the fifth one is inevitable happen several time per year in a site means in a specific site such as first aid it's happen several time in a year for the first aid the probability and likelihood is 5 now we'll have a look over severity what is the severity so first aid the severity is 1 for minor injury injury required medical treatment but not loss time so the severity is 2 loss time accident that require medical treatment and also the injured person need to take the risk for that severity is 3 serious injury or multiple injury in any accident such occurred and that has such as multiple fracture so the severity of that incident is 4 and single or multiple fatality if there is a fatality occurred after any accident the severity is the 5 while carry out the risk assessment we have to see so what is the probability and what is the severity of such kind of the accident so when we multiply the probability into severity so the risk rating highlight here such as the probability of any accident is 2 and the severity of such accident is 2 2 multiply by 2 is equal to 4 that means the risk rating is low now the next one is for any accident the probability of any accident is 4 and the severity of such accident is 4 4 into 4 is equal to 16 that means the risk rating is high the next one will focus for any accident the probability is 3 and the severity is also 3 
थ्री मल्टीप्लाय बाय थ्री दैट इज नाइन दैट मीन्स द रिस्क रेटिंग इज मीडियम सो द रिस्क मैट्रिक्स इज यूजफुल वाइल डिटरमाइनिंग द रिस्क इन्वॉल्व इन एनी एक्टिविटी इन द नेक्स्ट विल फोकस हेरारकी ऑफ कंट्रोल मेजर्स सो द हेरारकी ऑफ कंट्रोल मेजर्स आर फर्स्ट एलिमिनेट सेकेंड सब्सिट्यूट थर्ड इंजीनियरिंग कंट्रोल फोर्थ एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव कंट्रोल फिफ्थ पी पी इज ऑलवेज पी पी इज कम इन टू द लास्ट फर्स्ट वाइल कैरी आउट द रिस्क असेसमेंट वी हैव टू कम फ्रॉम इलिमिनेशन देन सब्सिट्यूशन देन इंजीनियरिंग कंट्रोल देन एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव कंट्रोल लास्ट वन इज द पी पी इज हेयर वील सी मोर इफेक्टिव मीन्स एलिमिनेशन सब्सिट्यूट एंड इंजीनियरिंग कंट्रोल दीज आर द मोर इफेक्टिव बट द पी पी इज आर लेस इफेक्टिव दिस एलिमिनेशन सब्सिट्यूशन एंड इंजीनियरिंग कंट्रोल आर हार्ड टू इम्प्लीमेंट बट द पी पी इज आर इजी टू इम्प्लीमेंट बट द रिजल्ट ऑफ एलिमिनेशन सब्सिट्यूशन एंड इंजीनियरिंग कंट्रोल इज मोर इफेक्टिव एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव कंट्रोल एंड पी पी इज आर द लेस इफेक्टिव सो ऑलवेज वाइल कैरी आउट द रिस्क असेसमेंट वी हैव टू कम स्टेप बाई स्टेप from hierarchy of the control we have to focus first on elimination second substitution third engineering control fourth administrative control fifth one is the pps we have to consider step by step if for any hazards we have to first put elimination elimination is not possible then we will take substitution substitution is not possible then we go for the engineering control if there is engineering control not possible then we have to go for the administrative control so always while carry out the risk assessment we have to go from one step to another step to cross examine what kind of the control measure is suitable for the particular hazards in the next we'll see risk assessment so this is the simple format of risk assessment first column we have see the serial number and activity activities will take example of the tower erection this activity is routine or non routine erection is the routine work then what type of hazards are involved into the erection so we can see fall up material then person hit by the swinging load then fall up person from height these are the hazards while doing the erection so consequences of the harm what is the consequences so for falling of material that may lead to the first aid injury also that may lead to the lost time accident so the consequence we have to consider according to which type of material is falling then in the next person hit by the swinging so what consequences are first aid also lost time accident the both is possible the next hazard is fall of person consequences is fatality or multiple fracture so we can put here the fatality or injury multiple injury after consequences we have to go for severity of harm next one is the in the risk matrix you have to check what is the severity of falling object from the height so the severity is 3 what is the likelihood of falling of material so the likelihood is 4 here the risk rating is 12 3 multiply by 4 is equal to 12 means if we check the risk matrix c we can find 12 comes under the medium risk for the next we'll see person hit by the swinging load so what is the severity severity is 3 and what is the probability of such incident probability is 4 then what is the risk rating again same 3 multiply by 4 is equal to 12 means the risk is medium again we will see fall of person from height so the severity is high because fall of person can lead to the fatal or multiple injury that means the severity of falling of person is high and what is the probability or likelihood so likelihood and probability is 3 because once in a year we heard in the construction company person fall from the height so that's why the likelihood of that occurrence is 3 so 5 multiply by 3 is equal to 15 so the risk rating is high up to here we have came to know what is the risk level of falling of material then the next step is control measure so control measure such as use of tested and capable wire rope ceiling second wire rope and pp rope should be in good and healthy condition third 
tie up material firmly and securely with the rope. Fourth, regular and visual inspection of lifting tools. Fifth, provide the information, instruction and training on safe work practices. Keep awareness and proper supervision. Sixth, provide proper PPE. So these are the control measures. These control measures we have to implement to minimize the risk involving into this activity. Now the next one is the person hit by the swinging load. So what type of the risk is here? We have already calculated the risk is medium. So for this risk, we have to implement such kind of the control measure that will effectively reduce the risk such as deploy a skilled and authorized winch operator, attach guy rope to the lifting material such as control rope, selection of trained and skilled worker, ensure operation performed without the jerk, means while erection the material should be lifted smoothly. In the next step we have calculated the risk is high such as fall of person. So risk is high so what type of the control measure is required use of fall arrestor system next one is the selection of trained and skilled worker medical checkup for the worker provide information instruction and training on safe work practices keep awareness and proper supervision and also provide the pp so these control measures are required to reduce the risk which is involved into the erection and this is the simple method of risk assessment and it is very easy to carry out a risk assessment and the risk assessment is required for each and every activity to minimize the risk which is involved in that activity. Risk assessment is also a legal requirement so that whenever we have to do any kind of the activity we have to prepare the risk assessment for such activity and the proper control measure must be implemented to minimize and reduce the risk from such activity the workman can do the safely work at site thanking you for watching this video don't forget to like and subscribe